From the heartland of America to every nation on earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are Drs. Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents. Oh my, oh my, how often have you said, oh, I wish what, I would know what tomorrow holds. Well, the first headline is very, very important. What to expect in 2016? I couldn't believe that headline when I read it. Do they really know what to expect? Are they really prepared for what they think they know? Then going on, doomsday weapons, Russia's new missile shocks, and dazzles the United States and China. My, oh my. And then Paris terrorists threaten to liberate Palestine in a new video. In other words, it's all against the Jewish people. We will be elaborating on that so very, very much. You lift, you lift up your newspapers mm -hmm. every day, and I know that you are shocked sometimes. But Jack gave me a newspaper yesterday, and he wanted me to refer to it, and I could not believe it, because in this one newspaper, just a section, there were 12 countries in trouble. 12. I'm just going to name a few of them. Brazil, Hungary, Turkey, Nigeria, Japan, South Korea, and then Singapore, India, Ukraine, and Honduras, and I could go on and on. So many countries in trouble around the world. So I'm very interested in how Jack's going to explain what to expect in 2016. But Jack, I really appreciate you giving me those headlines there. 12 countries yeah. especially in trouble right now. And then I read about more inside of the Wall Street Journal. And I want to tell you, it pictured the Word of God. Nations in distress with perplexity and mass confusion. We are in trouble. And God led me for the next two weeks. I went through 2,000 headlines to get the best for you, to warn you what's coming. Uh, Rick Sella, yesterday I heard the news and they said at 1 o'clock today they were going to be running sirens. Don't get frightened because... It's a test. Mm -hmm. And it came on, you said, what's that? Yes. And I was able to tell you. Yes. Well, I'm going to war in America. I believe we are facing the greatest time in history as far as damn little things happening. It's dangerous. And God has called me 70 years of preaching to do something in these final years of my ministry. My Bible says in Ezekiel 33, 3, when you see those sword on the land, warn my people, blow the trumpet, let them know, and I'm going to do it. Now, in 2 Timothy 3, 1 to 5, it says, this know also in the last day, perilous, dangerous time shall come, for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. From such Turn away, because it's these 20 groups that cause all the trouble in this country. And we are in trouble, as you're going to hear. I've got to warn America and the world. I read everything there is to read. I do over 100 periodicals every single month. I've read 12,000 volumes. I keep reading daily to find out everything that's going on in the world. And I'm warning you, folks, we are approaching that hour when Jesus Christ will break to the blue and save us from this horrible thing that's coming on the earth and soon wait till you hear what's coming this week and next week and I can document everything I'm saying. Well, you know, Jack, the one book that you spend so much time reading is the Bible because the Bible tells us exactly what's going to happen. 2016, well, they can look ahead and think they know, but the Bible says exactly what is going to happen in the very near future. Take a look. What to expect in 2016. After Brussels deal, Europe looks even more divided. Oh, my, yes. You know, they couldn't get together. 
they weren't ready for this, you know, over there. They just couldn't get together on anything. Obama versus Iran. Chamberlain all over again. I'm going to stop here a moment, friends. What does that mean? Chamberlain all over again. Winston Churchill, that great leader of England, said this thing called Islam is the most dangerous retrograde thing in all the world. But Chamberlain was one of these compromisers like President Obama. And so he went to Germany to be with Hitler and he came back and said, he's a man of love and loves the English people and we're going to have a great time. But Ch Churchill never gave in. And before Chamberlain died, he apologized to the people because there were six million dead Jews. But when all was called from the battle of World War II, there were 50 million people in their graves because of Adolf Schickel Grober Hitler. God forgive him. And God bless the man called Churchill because he took a stand. And God help Chamberlain and our president, who's always making excuses. Oh, the religion of love. We just want to do the best we can. Then goes to a mosque two weeks ago and praises a group that bombed some of the people in the world and said, I'm sorry to have to apologize for the things you're suffering. Bunk! Let's go on. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, Jack, they are suffering. You know, this next headline really breaks my heart because it's concerning a parish priest over in Baghdad, and they tortured him and tortured him for nine days. Obama in the State Department refuses to call slaughter of Mideast Christians genocide. You know, it is genocide, friends. This poor man, actually, he kept his shirt and he waved it. It was full of blood. What the Christians are going through over there, Jack. We need to understand what they're going through. And ladies and gentlemen, right now we have 300 million Americans with guns in our house. And watch out, ISIS. You're going to pay for what you're doing. Let's move ahead. All right, how about 2016 and the nuclear weapons, friends? You can't believe what I'm going to show you right now. Take a look, please, at this next one. The United Nations warns of nuclear material falling into the hands of terrorist groups. Okay, United Nations atomic chief warns on nuclear terrorism. Again, North Korea threatens nuclear strikes against South Korea, and who else? The United States, nuclear strikes. Again, North Korea new capable missiles can reach the United States mainland. Oh, my. And they're really proud of it. Take a look. North Korean propaganda video depicts nuclear strike on Washington. They say, we're not fooling around. We can reach your capital now. So watch out. Jack, uh, the nuclear weapons, you have often said that we would see them develop. You've often said also that uh, they would be used. Yes. Uh, it's hard for me to believe it's developing so fast. Well, Rexella, Russia has them, China has them, North Korea has them, Israel has them, Pakistan has them. There's no end to what's happening. And this book, the Bible, says that the last war, Armageddon, Revelation 16, 16, World War III is fought with atomic weaponry. And that's Psalm 97, 3, Isaiah 66, 15, Ezekiel 20, 47, Joel chapter 2, verses 3 and 30, Zephaniah 1, 18, Malachi 4, 1, Revelation 8, 7. And Revelation 9, 14 to 18, pictures World War III Armageddon. Listen to this. Loose the four demons in the great river Euphrates to slay a third part of mankind. And by these three was the third part of men slain. That would be close to two billion with today's figures as far as people are concerned in the world. By these three was the third part of men killed. Fire, smoke, brimstone. Ladies and gentlemen, all of this has to do with fiery war through nuclear weapons. And here is a place called North Korea. 
and that's Revelation 16, 12, along with China and many other countries getting ready for the war of wars. Now, I'm warning you because the Bible tells us that Christians are going to be removed before it happens, as you're going to see in this program. So rejoice, but be ready. Live the life. Mm, Jack. Well, I tell you, we need to be looking up, don't we? Because of something else that is a real, real threat. You know, Jack has had us looking at Russia and China. Take a look at what the NATO commander had to say here, NATO commander. Now, this is their military commander. Russia threat to U.S. and its allies. He's tell, saying that's a long-term threat that the United States has been having along with the European allies and partners. Russia's threatening us all the time. Doomsday weapon, Russia's new missile shocks and dazzles the United States and China. We can't get over it. And then going on, Russia poses greatest threat to the United States national security, Dunfer says. Oh, my. Jack's been warning us. He's been saying the Bible's clear on it, and here you see it. Again, Russia's Medvedev speaks of new Cold War with the West. Now, he's not making any excuses. He said, yes, we're in a Cold War with you. And then, once again, a correspondent for the Baltimore Sun, James E. Goodby, wrote, it's only a matter of time. That's what the experts say when asked whether a terrorist organization might detonate an atom bomb in an American city. It's only a matter of time. Oh, my. How grateful I am that the Bible is explicit about all of this. Jack, and you've been warning us. Oh, I've got to warn the people. And I want to tell you right now, Belgium is the homeland of my parents, and they just attacked it. But now these Moroccans, who call themselves Belgians, said we are going to do something that we were unable to do. And if you'll study what's been happening, they killed the man who watches over the nuclear weaponry department of the Belgian people, and he was killed the second day. And they said we made a Big mistake. We were going to do this in France, not Belgium. Well, I don't know about that, but I knew, know about this. They were looking for the material to make the hydrogen bomb to drop right there in that airport. And I'll tell you, millions would die. Now it's 16 here, 18 here. But when they get that bomb, remember Hiroshima? 140,000 people died, one blast. Now the greatest murderers in the world are the people in the ISIS movement. They're living groups, you know, and our president says, well, it's just one group, ISIS, and they're not true to the Muslim faith. Bunk! They're living, and they're all a bunch of cutthroat murders, killing anyone they can kill. And ISIS now says, we're going to hit 10 English cities at one time. Mm. And they said, we are going to get many nuclear bombs to put in cities of America. We hope to have at least 15 to 20 of them. And you multiply that by 140,000 who died in Hiroshima, and you'll have anywhere, they say, from 4 million to 10 million people dying in one day in the United States of America. I'm warning you, folks, it's coming. And we better do something about it. We better get a president who has some guts and will take a stand for this country we love. Oh, absolutely, Jack. You know, I'm so glad that this warning that Jack is giving out goes around the world. We're in every country. In fact, you can see us on YouTube now 24 hours a day. How wonderful to have a message for this mess age. We're in a mess, aren't we? We really, really are. But I know the one who can take us out of this mess. And it's our offer of the week. Who is Jesus? Jesus is the one, not only savior of the world, but he can save the world, believe it or not. He can save the world. Take a look, please, at the new promo. 
America and Canada beware. Doctors Jack and Rex Sullivan have been warned about Muslim terrorist organizations who are planning attacks in America and Canada in 2016 and 17. The bloody ISIS murderers already claim to be in all 50 states and much of Canada. The greatest heartbreak to believers is the blasphemy against our God and Savior Jesus by the Islamic religion. To them, he is not the Son of God nor the Savior of the world, but instead the executioner of all Jews, Christians, and non-Muslims. For details, order the most dynamic video study the Vanapies have ever released, Who is Jesus? This video indicates we undoubtedly are the rapture generation. Oh, there's the 800 number, and there's the address. Do not put it off. Who is Jesus? He is the Savior of the world. He is the Son of God. He did die on the cross. And if you put your faith and trust in him, you'll be ready for heaven. But he also is the one that can stop what's going on. I'm also going to give you uh, something with your order, and it has to do with the great salvation themes. 1,200 verses in here. Jack has written this book about that Jesus is the only Anyway, Jack, thank you for this book. I usually never say anything, but I'm going to. Why? God burdened my heart to war in the world, and this is the one that does it. My board members got here, nine of them from Canada, America, and I said, I'm putting four sermons on here. Anything that happens to me, because I'm under death threats, I want this to go into every nation on earth repeatedly. It's the most important thing you're ever going to hear preached by me as a war in the world that Jesus is about to come and take us out of this mess and what these countries plan to do. I'm pleading you in the name of the Lord, get a hold of this, and you get a book that's filled with Jesus, yes. 1,200 verses that he's the way, the truth, and the life. Yes, a bonus with your orders. So make the call right away, please, and we will get it in the mail as soon as we hear from you. Now, in 2016, will there be a continue, like an acceleration of hatred for the Jews Take a look at this, please. Paris terrorists threatened to liberate Palestine in a new video. Are you kidding? Going on, Islamic jihadists calls for mass murder of Jews inside their towns. You see the date there? That's just a few weeks ago. Oh, my, oh, my. And then Iran's Zarif. Netanyahu is sitting on 400 nuclear warheads. Of course, that's the Iranian foreign minister who said that. And then here's something else. Yahalan warns Iran operating sleeper cells in Europe. Well, you know, I wouldn't be a bit surprised by that. I'm going to stop here for a moment. There are, so, there are several million Muslims now living in the Paris area. Jack, I think it's 6.9 million living in Paris. Of course they got sleeper cells there, right? Oh, they got sleeper cells all over. We are now told, and they're bragging about it, that they've got ISIS members in every one of the 50 states of the United States of America and that they're getting ready for the big push here and as you heard our announcer say Canada God help us please please know that I am preaching this from my heart I'm warning you prepare to meet thy God Amos 412 the Lord Jesus is about to come. Let me just throw this good news in, Rex. Absolutely. Rexel. He I says, love I it. will keep you from the hour of testing which comes on the whole world. Keep you from it. It's the Greek word ek, out of. Well, how can we be taken out of it? By what is called the rapture. And I'll have more to say about that rapture in the next week's program. Ooh, I'll look forward to that one, Jack, next week, and I know that you will, too. And then going on here, we're talking about sleeper cells. Look what they plan on doing. Islamic State hints at attacks in London, Berlin, and Rome. In fact, they even put out a video saying what we're going to do. Latest arrest hints at larger European terror ring. It hasn't stopped, friends. The world. Yes, and then the growing conflict between Saudi Arabia and Iran. Now, Jack, I'd like to stop here for just a moment. You have addressed this before, but I think we need to really have our attention there. 
Saudi Arabia and Iran okay, conflict? Let me start with Russia. We didn't deal with that a few minutes ago. Russia is the battle of Armageddon, Revelation 16, 16. You find it in Ezekiel 38 and 39. Gog, Magog, Meshach, Tubal, Rosh, all cities in Russia now. Meshach is Moscow. Tobol is Tobolsk. They're southwest of Siberia. And everything that's in the Word of God in Ezekiel 38 and 39 for the war of the latter years and the latter days is Russia. But there's more. China joins with them, Revelation 16, 12. And they, along with Russia, come through the Euphrates River. And you know that the Anatolia project now in Turkey has created the greatest equipment where they can shut off the water totally in that great river. Just push a few buttons and it's dry land. And Russia and China march against Israel as they come through the dry land. We've got the equipment right now already set up in Turkey. But oh, Rexella, what a book. Not only does Russia lead that and China with them and North Korea, but Saudi Arabia and Iran. They're diametrically opposed. Saudi Arabia has for its religion uh, the Sunni movement and the Wahhabites, whereas Iran is the Shiite nation. And they are 10% and the others are almost 90%. So they are outnumbered. But they will come into that battle because it's going to be global. Every Muslim nation trying to take over the world but they're going to lose, and Israel's not going to lose. I'm happy to say this. Yahweh God who sits in heaven says, I'll give Israel an everlasting name, Isaiah 56, 5. You punks think you're going to do so much. You won't. Let's finish here, right, Yes, Sally? you know what, Jack? We need to stand up against these forces. In fact, this next headline makes that very clear. Take a look. Islamic State understands one thing, force. Absolutely forced. Well, let me give you another word here. Go on the offensive. Stand up. Jack, is that not right? Oh, Rexella, Jerry Falwell Jr. has the biggest university now, Liberty. And he just said to all the men, male students, get yourself a gun. And I will challenge ISIS to come and attack us. And we'll teach them a lesson they'll never forget. Amen. Let's take a stand for the Lord Jesus Christ and the gospel of the Lord Jesus. And obey Jesus, who said in Luke 22, 36, if you don't have a sword, sell your clothes and buy one. Amen. Well, you know, the people are buying guns right now. I'd like you to see the headline uh, right now from the FBI. It's overwhelmed by gun checks. Lynch says. So they're having a little bit of trouble keeping track of where all the guns are going. So oh, many people are buying them, right? Add, like <laughs> yes. so, uh, there are 300 million guns in American homes right now, and the population is only 300 million. But there are millions more who are going because many of them have more than one gun. And I'll tell you, all the countries where they've done so much damage in killing people, they were able to do it because Christians were never allowed to have a weapon. But you've got 300 million or even 500 million soon who will have guns. You guys aren't going to get away with it like you have been. But I'm not worried about that. I'm looking for the rapture and getting out of here before it all happens. Amen. Come up here to Revelation 4.1. And we're gone in the twinkling of an eye. Missing Armageddon and all this mess. 1 Corinthians 15.52. But having a gun, Jack, is not really wrong because the Lord taught his apostles for defense to get a sword. We have brought that out on the program yeah. several times already. And he did say, if you don't have one, sell your garment and buy one, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. we, thou shalt not kill. You guys are always preaching, oh, capital punishment is wrong. You don't know your Bibles. That is Exodus 20, 13. Turn the page. Exodus chapter 21, verse 12. He that puts a man to death shall be put to death. And that's also Leviticus 24, 17. If you kill a man, you should die. God believes in protecting oneself. Oh, yes, Jack. Well, how wonderful it is. That is, Jack has brought out on this program so many, many times, we do have an uplook. 
and a good, wonderful uplook it is because Jesus said, if I go away, I will come again. How good it is that he's coming back. But you know what you can have? You can have peace right now in this troubled world because Jesus died for you. He wants to be your savior. Will you open your heart, be forgiven of all your sins and be ready for that second coming? Oh, I trust you'll pray this prayer with Jack right now, Jack. Jesus said, peace I leave with you. My peace give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. But trust in me now, get saved. Be evacuated, raptured out of this mess. What do I have to do? Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. It's that simple. Romans 10, 13. Lord Jesus, pray it. Savior of the world, you died that horrendous death where you suffered so terribly as all your blood was shed from your body that day. Thank you, Jesus. It's your blood that cleanses us from all sin. And Lord, I'm not trusting in my works. I'm trusting in your work. Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you this day as my Savior. Come in, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh, I pray that you prayed that prayer. If you did, please let me know. There's my address. I want to hear from you that you opened your heart to the Lord and you just became a member of God's family because Jesus is in your heart. Well, I'll send you this little booklet, First Steps in a New Direction, and the Lord will walk with you every single day, give you comfort, and not only comfort now, but eternal life one day. And now, whoa, please do not put off making the order for the wonderful, wonderful offer of the week. Who is Jesus? And my bonus with your order. And here's our announcer to tell you how you can receive it. Chuck. Thank you, Rexella. My friend, to order Who is Jesus? Have your credit card ready and call toll free 24 hours a day, 1-800-JVI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jock Vanapie Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jock Vanapie Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA 6Y1. Now back to Rex Allen. Thank you so very much, Chuck. And I do want to say, do not put off making this order. It's so very important, please. There's the 800 number and there's the address. Who is Jesus? He's savior of the world, but he can stop what's going on in the world too. And my bonus with your orders, so don't put it off. Do you ever call anybody when you really needed to talk to someone and the line was busy, you couldn't talk? You'll never get a busy signal on the prayer line to heaven. How good it is that God is always listening. Oh, thank you, Lord. We'll look forward to being your home again next week. And until then, remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye. <laughs>